Forget about Muhammad Makai for a minute. Azad Maksum is the man everybody in the UFC flyweight division should fear. An undefeated 16-0 fighter from Almaty, Kazakhstan, Maksum is a wrestling ace who has made a career out of choking people out, but he also packs a punch and can shut your lights out with his lightning-fast combinations on the feet. Maksum is a complete package, a composed and confident fighter who has mastered the art of winning. The question is, will he establish his reign of terror in the UFC as well? Welcome to the MMA sector, where today we look back at the career of one of Kazakhstan's brightest MMA stars. Born in 1995 in a small village in the Balhash district of the Almaty region in Kazakhstan, Maksum moved to the nation's capital at a young age with his mother and sister. The family settled in the Karase district of Almaty, right next to the mountains. As a child, Maksum loved running up the mountains and biking, so cardio laid the Kazakhs' base in childhood. Soccer was Maksum's first love, and he and his friends put together a local team that participated in several tournaments and won trophies. However, he was more into freestyle wrestling, which he started in his early teens, winning several national competitions before transitioning to mixed martial arts after graduating from the Kazakh National Agrarian University. Maksum kicked off his MMA career with back-to-back -back wins in the flyweight tournament of a local organization in Kazakhstan. After defeating Eidos Ismailov in his debut, Maksum faced Arshin Ermoldev in the final. Maksum set the tone with a counter right early, and for the next two rounds, he mixed striking and takedowns to keep his opponent guessing. The finish came 30 seconds before the end of the second round, when Maksum secured a takedown, took Arshin's back, and finished him with a rear naked choke. <laughs> One of Maksum's most impressive career performances came early in his third pro fight against Aktor Barbekov in Almaty, Kazakhstan in 2017. Despite the inexperience on both ends, it was a fairly entertaining and technical contest. The first few seconds of round one were wild due to the nerves, but once they settled down, both engaged in a pretty technical stand-up fight, with Maksum relying on his long limbs to target his opponent with kicks and Aktor throwing heat. Although he missed on a few big punches. Nearly halfway through the first round, Maksum secured a takedown and fought off submission attempts. Aktor would make his way back up, but Maksum would take him down and finish the round strongly. The second round was entertaining again as the two threw calculated strikes up until Maksum rocked his foe with a big right hand that threw him off balance. In a blink, Maksum jumped on Aktor, took his back, and submitted him by rear naked choke. Maksum continued to pile up victories, and at 5-0 as a professional, he started competing in bigger promotions, with his sixth professional fight coming against Timur Dangarov. Maksum's performance against Dangarov was much like his second MMA fight against Arshin Nurmoldev. He used his long limbs and distance management to counter on the feet and made perfectly timed entries for takedowns throughout rounds 1, 2, and 3. Every time Maksum secured a takedown, he settled into a strong position before unleashing ground and pound. He also had to fight off a couple of submission attempts. After three rounds of battle, Maksum won by a unanimous decision. The Kazakh sensation's next two fights showcased his true potential. In his seventh professional fight, Maksum made his debut in Octagon League, the biggest MMA promotion in Kazakhstan. The flyweight prospects faced Vlad Sestrewatovsky. Maksum secured the fight in his trademark fashion, staying at range and teeing off with low kicks before level changing within a split second and taking the fight to the mat, where he was the better fighter by a mile. He battered Vlad with big punches from full mouths for nearly two minutes before putting his foe to sleep with a triangle choke. The best was yet to come, however. Five months later, Maksum faced Rahimzon Ataknov and proved that he wasn't an all-out wrestler. Right from the start, Maksum pressed his opponents, targeting him with leg kicks while throwing occasional one-twos. Ataknov fired back with some good shots too, and their back and forth continued for two minutes before Azad forced Ataknov against the cage and dropped him with a huge cross. A few seconds later, the fight was over. 
A couple of months after beating Atangnoth, Muxum faced a prospect much like himself in Altinbek Megazov at Octagon Global 2. Since Megazov was a big and lanky flyweight like Muxum, he was able to catch him with a couple of jabs and covered distance pretty well. Failing to impose his will on the feet, Muxum ducked under Magazov's strike and took him down, controlling him for the rest of the round while threatening to snap his neck. Magazov would get back to his feet, but he'd get taken down again. On the second takedown, however, Magazov locked in a guillotine that momentarily had Azat's fans worried. The Kazakh would eventually make his way out of the chokehold and take his opponent's back, softening him up until the end of the round. The second round was much of the same as Azat dominated his foe on the match before choking him out halfway into the round to win the Octagon Flyweight title. With three wins out of three, 2019 was a very successful year for Muxum, especially with a belt to boast about. But he couldn't compete in Octagon promotion in 2020 due to COVID. So when he was given a chance to fight Albert Akhmayev at the Naiza Fighting Championship in November, he happily accepted the opportunity. The fight was another trademark Muxum performance as he relied on leg kicks and one twos on the feet to draw his opponent in and shoot for takedowns. Throughout the fight, Muxum secured numerous takedowns as Albert would to either show great resilience, attempt submissions off his back, or get back up to his feet. Muxum didn't give him a chance to breathe, however, and was onto him from start to finish, winning the fight by a comfortable decision. Back in the Octagon League, Muxum faced Nurbik Balotbek in February 2021 in a 130 pound catchweight bout. The first round was all Muxum as he carefully picked his shots on the feet and then proceeded to secure a double leg takedown in the second minute. After surviving a guillotine, Muxum freed himself and then rained punches from the top position and controlled his opponent until the end of the round. The second round was very much the same. Muxum took his time on the feet to wait for the right opportunity to explode, and then secured a couple of takedowns, inflicting damage on his opponent with elbows and punches. The trend continued at round three as well, as Muxum carefully navigated the striking exchanges before taking the fight to the mat, softening his opponent up and then proceeding to finish him with a triangle choke. Yeah. At 11-0 as a professional, Muxum was asked to step in on eight days' notice to make his Brave Combat Federation debut. Muxum took the high-risk fight, considering it as an opportunity to impress the Brave Brass and earn a super fight against Mohamed Makaev, who was tearing through the flyweights in the promotion. To impress Brave CF bigwigs, Muxum faced Michael Aluro in his debut. The two had a feeling out process in the first minute, but in the second one, Kazakh dropped Aluro with a crushing right cross. The Frenchman managed to clear the cobwebs quickly, however. The remainder of the round saw little action as Aluro kept his distance to avoid getting crushed with Muxum's long levers. The second round was more of the same, with Muxum troubling Aluro with his one-twos, especially due to little head movement on Michael's part. Round two saw more takedowns and scrambles than round one, and Muxum again won it on the scorecards. The third round proved to be the most effective for Azak as he came out guns blazing, and 50 seconds into the round, he knocked his foe out with a devastating cross. Oh! Soldier's and look at that, now he's dropped, that could this be it! Yes. Following an uber impressive win in his Brave debut, Muxum called out Muhammad Wakai, but that fight never happened. And three weeks later, Azad was matched up with Flavio Queiroz in a flyweight fight in August 2021. The fight had little action for nearly three minutes as both fighters stayed at range and threw occasional strikes to figure each other out. Just before the three-minute mark, however, Muxum came forward with a swinging right hand that landed right on the button. Kairos was down and out the next moment. <laughs> A few months later, Muxum returned to Octagon League to fight Azamad Karabeko. For this particular fight, Muxum trained at Habib Nurmagomedov's gym in Dagestan. Come fight night, he showed his improvements. The first few seconds of the fight saw the two testing the waters, but a few seconds into the round, Muxum secured a takedown and took his opponent's back firing off big shots as Azamad turtled up. Azad continued to land big shots until he found an opening and wrapped his arms around Karbekov's neck to cut off the blood supply with a rear naked choke. 
Переворачивает, пошел прием, видимо. Все, плотный захват и сдача. In his next octagon outing, Muxum faced an 18-fight veteran in Alan Gabriel. The first round of their fight was fairly entertaining. It started off slow as both tested the waters on the feet, before Muxum secured a takedown and did some damage through ground and pound. Once Gabriel got back up to his feet, the fight got a bit wild, with both men swinging like their life depended on it. While his looping shots were landed on the money, Muxum's biggest weapon, the straight right, worked wonders as he dropped Gabriel and then dominated him on the mat until the end of the round. The second and third rounds were much of the same as Muxum continued to show his improved skill set by blitzing his foe on the feet with fast and powerful combinations before securing takedowns and controlling the Brazilian on the mat to win by a decision. In his most recent fight, Muxum faced a scary striker in Fabricio Nunes, an 8-0 undefeated fighter with five wins by knockout. Muxum respected his power, and as soon as the fight started, he went for a takedown. The Brazilian fought valiantly, punching off of his back and trying his best to stand up, but Muxum was simply too good, as he ragdolled Nunes for two and a half minutes, although he wasn't able to do much damage. Due to little activity on the mat, the referee stood the two fighters up. At range, Nunes landed a couple of big punches and crushing body kicks, forcing Muxum into a firefight. The Kazakh immediately landed a 1-2 and level change to secure a double leg takedown. For the next two minutes, he worked to secure a dominant position while unleashing ground and pound, and just three seconds before the end of the first round, Muxum finished the job with a Bravo choke. Yeah. The next time Muxum fights, he'll be doing so in the UFC octagon, where the world will be watching. The good thing is, he has come leaps and bounds since his humble beginnings in 2017, and with years of experience under his belt, he's ready to take over. Will Azad Muxum continue his winning ways in the UFC and secure the flyweight title? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. To watch more fighter stories, please subscribe to the MMA sector and turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.